Hi, welcome to another video from G Market Outlook. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J and J. So what we have here is the daily time frame. So you can see for Johnson & Johnson, the chart is very bullish. You're seeing purely based on price action alone, there's higher highs and higher lows being formed. And your EMAs are in full trend as well. And this trend is in an obviously bullish trend. So currently at $172, we see a slight retracement in Johnson & Johnson. You see it reached a high of about 180 after the dividends they retrace about 172 so the dividends for j and j is about one dollars and six cents which is pretty good in terms of dividends and i think right now it's retesting a crucial support zone so i'll draw out this support zone over here you can see that this support zone has been respected back in beginning of february may then now it broken up in mid of august as retesting this support so this support zone is newly formed it used to be the resistance and we can look to see how well price action will react to this support zone so what we have here in this support zone is the 50-day ema that comes in as a nice support as well you see it held up price action a bit here as well and we can look at the trader dynamic index so if you look at trailer dynamic index, this yellow line, market sentiment line, so those who are familiar, you know that this market sentiment line, as long as it's above the 50 level, is in the buy zone, and that is a very healthy bullish indication for us. However, this green RSI line could be better, and what I would like to ideally see is this RSI line curling upwards, or even better crossing this market sentiment line, this yellow line. If it crosses above the market sentiment line, that will give us a very good bullish indication. So how that could happen is if J and J forms a good green bullish green candle over here. So my drawing is not that good, but you get the point, right? So if it forms a good green bullish candle over here, we could see RSI curling up and might be better if it crosses this yellow market center line. So that's what I would like to see in J and J. I think if that does happen, we can get a very good risk to reward ratio with the stop loss below the structure and we can look to target higher highs at about 2 hour approach or even higher so that's for g and g on the daily time frame if you look at the four hourly time frame you can see that currently structure is very well respected it's even shown clearer here you can see that however there's a very big red bullish candle and there's something not very good in what we see in the retest especially if we see a deeper retest on the support zone so we still wait and see if we do find further better consolidation here if uh, what i would like to ideally see is if we form a consolidation maybe a triangle pattern and then a further break to the upside so that is for johnson and johnson j and j i think overall it's still in a bullish trend however this consolidation in my opinion is not finished yet and we need to wait for further price patterns to form price action to give us a clear indication to the upside so that is what I have for j and A quick one, and if you did enjoy this, do remember to like and subscribe to this video. And do comment what other stocks you'd like me to cover as well. And with that, remember to trade safe and I'll see you in the next one.